there are many examples which prove that Jaya is trapped in this patriarchal society and tries hard to come out of it. In her effort to become an ideal wife and mother, her true self is relegated to background. In India, marriage is a kind of necessity, a demand of culture. Jaya says, marriages never end. They cannot. They are a state of being. As a result, a marriage becomes a liability most of the time and it is the woman who has to try hard to make it a perfectly balanced relationship. Mohan thinks that the story which brought Jaya accolades and recognition is the story about their personal life and he is very scared that the people of his acquaintance may assume that he is the kind of person portrayed in the story. His apprehension is enough to threaten Jaya's career as a writer. Though she knows there is no truth in what her husband thinks, she does not argue with him. She says, Looking at his stricken face, I had been convinced. I had done him wrong and I had stopped writing after that. Perhaps if Mohan had been angry, if he had shouted and raged at me, if he had forbidden me to write, perhaps I would have fought him and gone on. But he had only shown me his heart and I had not been able to counter that. I had relinquished them instead, all those stories that had been taking shape, scared of hurting Mohan, scared of jeopardizing the only career I had, my marriage. These words of Jaya painfully depict the pathetic condition of a married woman who is devoid of choices. She feels as if she has no right to express her real self, even in fiction. Having no option left, she begins to write under an assumed name, but her stories are rejected by one publisher after another. Desh Pandey seems to convey the fact that women writers have curved themselves from telling the truth, giving greater importance to their roles as wives than to themselves as individuals. History has been witness to this injustice, as Simon de Beauvoir suggests, the history of humanity is a history of systematic attempt to silence the female. At every step, Jaya has to prove to be an ideal wife and mother. But Jaya is a human being, a human being who always looks for love, respect and freedom. When Jaya doesn't get enough respect and freedom, she gets inclined towards Kamath, who is a widower as well as her neighbor. Her association with Kamath clashes with the most important aspect of her personality as a wife and mother. Jaya gets attention from Kamath and she feels totally free in his company because he treats her as his equal. He offers constructive criticism to Jaya's writings. In him, Jaya finds a companion, the most important aspect that she misses in her husband's personality. She is not able to believe that she can be so much of herself in any man's company. She says, It had been a revelation to me that two people, a man and a woman, could talk this way. And with this man, I had not been a woman. I had just been myself, Jaya. Jaya's character is not ideal because Shashi's, Shashi Deshpande believes in realistic representation rather than idealistic one. Like any other human being, she gets attracted towards Kamath, a person who makes her behave as she wants to. Gradually, their relationship develops into physical attraction, but their relationship cannot be categorized. He sometimes behaves like a father and sometimes a lover. Her relationship with Mohan is overpowered by silence and subjugation, while with Kamath, she is totally free and equal. Jaya is very much aware that with Mohan, she is Mohan's wife, but with Kamath, she is many things. She can be angry with Kamath, with Mohan, she cannot be angry because he does not like it. Through Jaya, Desh Pandey has depicted the predicament of a married woman who is supposed to behave according to culturally constructed norms. Desh Pandey seems to suggest that the man-woman relationship
in an attempt to go by the norms of society gives opportunity to deceit and treachery to come into relationship human beings more often prefer to wear a facade of an ideal person rather than being truthful to themselves as individuals appearances have to be maintained at any cost it is perhaps this facade which prompts jaya to behave in an utterly callous way on the death of kamath on a visit to kamath's room she finds him lying dead on the floor of his flat as an ideal human being she should have been there and express her condolences but instead of paying her tribute to him she runs away from the spot she is unable to pay homage to her friend just because she doesn't want to involve herself in any kind of relationship that may spoil her married life with mohan at this point jaya behaves as a typical indian wife who has been trained to think that marriage is of utmost importance had she been with kamath at his death it would have endangered her marriage with mohan though she feels terribly guilty yet she remains passive desh pande at this point has revealed the conservative norms of the society that have always curbed women's freedom there are so many rules which have been made for married women but not for men a married woman is normal morally bound to her husband only however the reverse is not true most of the time friendly relationships with other men are not permissible and are looked down upon with contempt the novel is rooted in the ethos of an urban middle class household and mainly deals with desh pande's domestic concerns the author is concerned with human relationships as they follow a marriage in her novels most of the time marriage collapses due to lack of understanding between man and woman this leads to the suffering and the conflict between traditional limitations and modern aspirations desh pande on the other hand seems to support healthy human relationships in an interview with lakshmi holstom she says but yes i did bring in kamath to serve a purpose to show jaya the kind of relationship that she could achieve with the man she gets a kind of companionship with kamath that she never gets from her husband yet that is marriage and this is not but perhaps i do realize that this kind of relationship the kind of companionship that is possible although it is very rare often it is missing because of the predominance of the sexual motif in india without marriage desh pande created a character named kamath to make jaya realize that what kind of a person she is and what kind of attachment compatibility and relationship she can have with a man who is more understanding than her husband so here kamath can be considered as an agent to reveal this typical women situation because even if she was comfortable with kamath she was not able to face society as she was married and it could be a threat to her married life it's her identity and learns to be silent after marriage marriage and social setup in india contribute to the relegation of women to a large extent this patriarchal structure proves to be an obstacle in assertion of women's individuality sometimes it happens that husbands take the wife's consents for granted they do not think it necessary to ask for their wishes when mohan gets entangled in problem he decides to move to another flat and he takes this decision without asking jaya and she agrees reticently in order to avoid any kind of altercation between them she recollects i remember now that he had assumed i would accompany him had taken for granted my acquiescence in his plans so had i the silence grows between them and both become too uncomfortable to communicate freely with each other jaya realizes that she has to go ahead overcoming all the hurdles with this thought she introspects the problems related with the marital life looking through her diaries she realizes that all these 17 years of married life she had been mohan's wife rahul and rati's mother not herself she had been denying herself completely she realizes that she has to remove the darkness from her soul and mind 
Jaya, like Saru and Indu, chooses security through reconciliation. Jaya does not negate family and husband. She now thinks about leading an organized life with her husband. Jaya decides to move forward in her life, expecting a change in Mohan's attitude. She hopes to develop a better understanding with Mohan as a companion. She decides to reject the traditional silence of a woman. She emerges as a more confident woman who is ready to face all challenges in her life. The ultimate solution comes when a woman changes herself and asserts her individuality.